The statement this week by the 17 uh, US senators from both parties just makes a lot of sense. It's in everybody's interest. I mean, everybody's interest, not just the prisoners and their families, but also the authorities' interest now to have as few people as possible in prison. Clearly, prisons are breeding grounds for the coronavirus, and the fewer prisoners there are, uh, the less risk there are there is to prison staff, apart from anything else. We've seen in, in many countries across the world uh, prison staff being infected. It doesn't discriminate between people who are in prison because they've been convicted or people who are guarding them. Uh, we've seen prison staff across the world dying from the coronavirus too. So whatever a, a government thinks about um, its political prisoners, it really ought to be protecting its prison staff. And one way to do that is to clear out the prisons of people who really shouldn't be there. Now, um, many of the people in, in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and, and in other countries clearly shouldn't be in prison. I mean, we've been saying this for years and, and we all know um, a, a list of people who shouldn't be in prison, most prominently, of course, Nabil Rajab, uh, Abdel Hadi Al Khawaja, Najib Fatil. You have people who are, who are either old and or have underlying health concerns, uh, like Hassan Mashema uh, and, uh, and Singais. Uh, now, all of those people and, and many others ought to be released immediately, partly because it's the right thing to do, but, but these days, in terms of health, it's absolutely the smart thing to do. Now, Bahrain is a little puzzling because it has already uh, released 14, 1,500 prisoners, which is a very good thing. Uh, but it means that it, it understands the principle. Uh, it, it gets it that you really should not have people in prison who shouldn't be there. Um, it's a risk to them. Uh, it's a risk to uh, people who work in the prison who come in contact with them. And so it's, it's a little puzzling and frustrating that Bahrain understands that, the government of Bahrain understands that and yet still refuses to release those people um, who are among the most prominent human rights defenders. Um, there will of course be a dreadful international outcry should those people become uh, infected and, and God forbid die and it, it just makes no sense really for the Bahraini authorities to insist on keeping them in prison when the alternative being to release them uh, would look great for the Bahrainis, many people would congratulate them for it, and it would make their own prison staff, their own government employees uh, that much safer. Uh, I hope that somebody in the Bahraini government is arguing for that and, and that they win that argument because it really is pretty straightforward.